Yo, that's not that's not my intro. Let me start that over. What the fuck? What was I yelling yo for? Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Columbus Aviators relocation franchise. Almost said fantasy franchise. Not that serious. It almost was for a second, but it's not. We're in week 16, coming on the end of the season. I was just thinking about head about uh right before I started hitting record. I was like, damn, the season's taking long. Even though we skipped a few games, not skip, but even though a few game files got corrupted, it's still taking long. We only got two games left, and we only have four wins, four and ten. Speaking of our record, I do be complaining about us losing, but we need to lose because we are not a good team. <laughs> That's the point of losing. You're like you you want to lose so you have good picks, and we do have good picks. We have the fourth overall, eleventh overall. New England has the eleventh. We obviously traded something for that. I don't remember exactly. A few episodes back now. Um, we had the fourth because we do suck. I think we should have the, not the first, but we're going to check what teams are worse than us at this point of the season. There can't be many teams worse than this team, right? All right, so the Bucks do have 12 losses and the Broncos have 11. Now, we are the third worst team at 4 and 10. Yeah, we have uh, three wins, uh, two, four wins. We need to not win any more games because our pick is just going to get worse and we need a better pick i mean fourth overall is pretty good and we could check what players are you know projected to go in this top draft let's look at some prospects wide receiver right guard right outside there's no quarterback projected to go top five these are the top five picks uh not very good there's no quarterbacks projected to go here no, there's actually no good quarterbacks. Like, I would have to take a shot on Tim Hudson. But he just doesn't look that good. Awareness spin move? Like, what? I mean, awareness would mean that he has at least a good overall rating. And spin move, I'm guessing he's fast. Which, I just, I just don't need that, though. We could take a running back. Not that high, though, but I don't know. A receiver's projections go high, right? There's like a top five receiver in here. Miles Franklin. A spec catch, A short. I already like him. <laughs> I already like him. A B juke move. I don't know. He might be able to get taken or taken. I mean, we, 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 we got some things, and... By the end of the season, we will make some moves. I don't know. Like I said, depending on how things go in the end, if we're going to run with Wes or not. I don't know. We'll see. Did we face this team this season? I don't think so. I think I'll remember that. Mark Harden probably, I mean, in terms of age and overall and just sheer ability with looks he has, this might be the best quarterback we're facing, honestly. He doesn't have good short accuracy, but, I mean, when you're deep and medium is that high, you don't need that short accuracy to be that good. Running back, pretty, eh, not that good. Wide receivers are pretty good. Tight end, pretty good group of tight ends. Left tackle, okay. Right tackle's injured, so they're going to have actually a bad right tackle there. Unless they just move one of their other, like, linemen, like, I don't know. Do they have a backup left tackle they could move there? Possibly. I don't know if they would do that, though. Don't look like they will because of depth. I don't know. They might. But look like they might have a bad, bad, bad right tackle. So, um, with... Uh, Belton coming back. That's what I forgot to mention, too. Belton is returning this game. Yeah, with him coming back, it's going to be good. Their left end's pretty eh. Right end, okay. Good DT, a really good DT. Actually, both of their DTs are pretty good. Left outside linebacker, not that good. Middle linebacker, pretty good. I would say pretty good. Right outside, decent. Cornerbacks, pretty good. I actually got an X Factor. Free safety, not that good. Strong safety, not that good. 
All right. Um, you know, it's not that bad of a team. It's very what their record is telling. I was defense at 85. I've faced some good defense these past three weeks. But um, I think I know what we want to do soon. Defending them is going to be deep pass. We've seen his deep and medium accuracy were crazy. That's actually pretty funny because it says his short accuracy is his highest pass rate, even though his attributes would say otherwise. Interesting. Um, Are we going to throw it short, though? I mean, that's what we've kind of been getting our yards at when we throw it short. I might say yeah to that. Might just leave it as a throw for 350. We have never done that. I don't think this is going to be the game we do that, bro. Let's just say, um, I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. Throw two passing touchdowns. Oh, my God. I don't know if I want to do that. Allow two passing touchdowns? Let's do that. Um, I don't know. Sack. No conversion on fourth down. Pick it off. Force two turnovers. Because, I, I mean, we force one. We still get one skill point, right? So, now I don't think that's how that works. Eh, it might. Yeah, it will. It will work like that, actually. What's this one? Score 21 plus points. Nope. Two offensive touchdowns. And... Uh, it's going to be 15 first downs. I, that's the easy one, bro. 15 first downs. If you can't get 15 first downs in a game, I don't know, bro. And we're going to go to upgrade players and get right into this game. Waste enough time. I didn't even waste that much time. It just felt like a lot of interruptions. Cullen Brown, who's kind of a backup uh, rush end. Rush right end. But... um. His power moves is pretty good. Finesse moves isn't that good. Block shed can't block shed for anything. What's your scheme fit, though? Speed rusher. We're going to stick with power rusher, though. I'll upgrade you. Uh, boost you up by one overall. Awareness plus two. Power moves plus two. Finesse moves plus one. You like to see stuff like that. And he's a star, too. Our center, Brian Rosa. I don't even know if you really start. I don't even know our lineman. Um... I think our line has been playing pretty decent overall this year. Not the best, but also really not the worst. I just think it's been it's been consistently mid. But not like a bad mid. It's like sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they play well. Um let's hope we let's hope we could take uh, advantage of that injured D tackle. Injured D tackle. Injured right tackle. Let's hope we could take advantage of that and really expose that. Because it's a 68 overall over there. There's no way we shouldn't be getting in. There's some issues in this uh, team's front office, man. From the front office to the coaching staff. Obviously, me, the coach. Um, I think the GM likes Wes a little bit. But I'm not going to lie to you. I don't. And you feel me? Me and the GM are kind of going back and forth right now about what we want to do. Obviously, we've seen the quarterback uh, market in the draft class not very high. We'll have to see what his trade value might be if we go choose to go that route. But as of right now, I don't know. I'm not feeling Wes, but like I said, if he does end up getting rookie of the year and de does end up deving up to, like, star and possibly making a Pro Bowl to boost from a superstar, I don't know, bro. I, I would be willing to um stick with him. But as of right now, uh, his upgrades aren't looking too well. He's not looking too well. And, uh, I mean, he's had, overall, he has a, he had a few good games. Not all of them resulted in wins, so you can't put all the blame on him. But, overall, just hasn't been the best of times for our boy, Marv. They take that out and end up on a 15. Not a good idea. Their quarterback, first time we're going to be facing him this season. I mean, a pretty, I don't know, bro. Like, don't, I don't want to shit on yards, but with two games left, it looks like you're not even about to get over a thousand, four, I was at you, over a thousand, over 4,000 yards. And I don't know how I feel about that.
Couldn't even get in with a D tackle. I got double team. Like, I like using a D tackle sometimes, but I just get double too much, bro. There we go. Who was that? Belton. Putting them on their own three. Everything was covered. Belton just rushed in. Really three people rushed in on that one. There's no way we could let up all these yards right here. Hey, let's get a tackle. Let's get a tackle. Thank you. Because I got in, but I guess I tripped. And, yeah, I mean, he ended up jumping over, running into somebody. So, a good stop on that one. It would have been nice to get a safety there, but we would have to really, like, really get in there. Bro. That just wasn't happening on that play. Our quarterback, we know, it's, it's horrible, bro. If you flip it, it's still horrible, bro. But the yards, though, the yards. He's going to get over 4,000 as a rookie, so... That there's that to look at. I'm not mad at that. Four thousand for a rookie? I'm cool. This is a rollout right play, but I don't know if I should do that. Oh fuck. Get there? It was probably a hold, right? Yeah. Are they blitzing this? No way they're blitzing me right here. This is just like a comp it's always a I don't know how to say bad play, but it's always like a play like this. Gibson's my main look. He don't get he doesn't beat and then I'm looking underneath. Yep. He did. It's gonna be a touchdown. Get there, get there, get there. Damn. One or two. I mean good yards though. It was a weird ass tackle they gave him. I don't know what that 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 tackle was. I'm like, I'm gonna get there. But he just didn't. He should beat them there, though, right? You know what it was? It was like he was going to break the tackle, but he also ran to the other lineman. So that just didn't end up happening. This is a play-action look for me, bro. I'm going to put uh, Gibson on a flat just in case. Hopefully, I have time. I do. There we go. There's our passing touchdown of the, I would say of the day. It's not of the day. <laughs> passing touchdown for the day. There's one. I think we need two passing touchdowns. And a very good offensive drive right there. Uh, didn't take a lot of plays, which you love to see. You don't want your uh, you don't want your offense out there a lot. Took three plays. Took under a minute thirty. For a lot of yards, and that puts us up 7-zip. Now, if we could come out here and get another stop and also get another score, that will obviously put us up by 14 and give us a nice little cushion to, you know, feel me, start our day with. Two times they took the ball out now, it has been on the 15-yard line. And if I'm their coach, I'm like, let's not take it out no more. Because we're starting on the 15, we're starting at a disadvantage. We, we, if we fuck up here on the play, we're all the way backed up. That's just what it is at this point. I should not get doubled here, but I probably will because there's a lot of people on this line. Good tackle. I kind of got in with the, uh, the DT, but not fully. Not the way I needed to. That's not a first. That's not a first. We stopped them. Let's go. And they're not going to go for it because they're only on the fucking 24. And if they don't, they... It, all right. <laughs> I'm going to mess up my sentence here. They're not going to go for it because they're on the 24. Because if they do go for it, they're fucked. That's why. Right. There you go. I'm going to say, who is that? Tarpley? No, that's McPherson. I forgot to mention, too. I moved Crosby and... Uh, Tarpley, I made me tarp, Tarpley my number one uh, slot receiver, 
because he has 97 speed there. And don't be wrong, Crosby is, he does play good there, but, bro, 97 speed? Come on. 97 speed is crazy. Yeah, I try to go outside to it. I mean, we still gained a few yards in that, over 10 on that. Gonna also streak McPherson. Not streak. Well, yeah, streak. My, they had uh, Smith on the streak for some reason. See if anything gets open. Doesn't really look like it. He actually caught that. And he, ah, I just wish it didn't fucking lead him out. Could have got more yards, but those yards are good, though. I was going to run right here. There we go. There we go. We looking good today, fellas. Let's just not make no, no, no damn mistakes. I couldn't speak for a second. I hate that when words can't come out. Like, bro, what are you trying to say? Running. I'm going to get this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I seen the way they were set. I'm like, I'm going to get this. Like, it's like when I started running, y'all started backing up, which I should. Make, make a runway for the man. Good drive, fellas. Beautiful drive. Back-to-back -back plays looking very good. Out of, like, the 13 or so episodes I've done, I think um, Marvin West has been on at least 10 of them. Nah, at most 10, I'm going to say. I'm not going to say at least. Because we're only at like 13 or 14 episodes in this. He has been on a lot of thumbnails, bro. Like, a lot. Not even a concerning amount. He's just been on a lot. Damn, I got pushed. <laughs> I think I got triple team with the D tackle. Good. There you go. I'm getting a few. What was that like third and four? Third and three. I like it though. What I just did. Oh, I thought I changed my camera. I'm like, what the fuck? I think I actually did change my camera. Yeah, I did. That shit was nasty. Let's go, fellas. Oh my god. <laughs> we are clamping shit right now. This is crazy. I can't believe it. We're blocking the running back. God, we don't like anything else. There we go. First down. He is 5 for 5. 120. Nope. 102 yards. And a touchdown on the day. Can you believe that, bro? I was going to block the tight end on the other side. I don't think I ran it right. That play is never for my running back, but he got it there and got a bunch of yards. They are playing so soft right now. Like, it's incredible. I can't actually believe it. What's good, y'all? Welcome. Not welcome back. Um, I am back. <laughs> this is a voiceover for this part because, you know, uh, there's no construction literally outside the window. So all you hear was drilling the whole time and banging and all that other stuff. So this is a voiceover for about five minutes or so. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just because I kind of have to, like, get this out there. As you see, we almost get a touchdown there. But, got a run play action right here. Rolling out. Trying to get away. Can't get away. We knew that was going to happen. So, we're just going to try to get another rollout here. And I'll be able to roll out. But, we're going to take off our, with our feet. I want to get a touchdown like that where we just beat the lineman to the spot. But, that's not happening now. Get another chance to throw the ball. I might get a throwing touchdown right here. And we do. And I'm getting a touchdown right there. Increasing our lead. Is that 7? No, that's 14 to 0. On defense now. 
good coverage. Everything is locked up, and we end up getting a kind of a strip sack. But I don't know if that's going to count as a regular sack or not. Belton, who was just having a really good game and good season, too, has a chance to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. If he does that, he obviously will be boosted up to star and possibly with a Pro Bowl. Superstar X Factor. Another sack ends up getting the ball back. We're looking for this, our famous deep shot there with the tight end. Make that safety, make an adjustment, and he's not open. So, you know, maybe just another rollout. Beat him to the spot, get out of bounds. Doesn't matter if you fumble right there. Nice little run. We haven't run the ball well as of late. I'm not mad at the way we've been running, bro. It's actually very, very um, inspiring the way he was running the ball. Was that a catch? I wasn't really looking like that. Big shot play, big rollout. Hit the receiver right there. Good, 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 good catch. I mean, our receivers are playing. I just think this game, not going to lie, I don't think that we were the better team. Maybe offensively, you could argue we were good. We played better, but, like, obviously, just on paper. Not the better team, but I just think their defense just didn't come to play. Like, I feel like we get anything we want. Obviously, we take a field goal there. As I say, we get anything we want. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just feel like a lot of stuff they were doing is just bullshit. Like, they're not covering certain things, and the runs were easy. Passes were open. Like, I don't feel like they showed any resistance on defense unless we made them, like, do that. And I think they're going for a, let's say, a field goal. No, they're going for Hail Mary. And this is the part of the game where I got a little angry. But I had to remember how much I was up by to not even get that angry. And I get ball at half, so I couldn't get that angry. It was a pass interference because I moved back. And then when the ball was in there, I moved and I hit someone. I didn't affect him catching the ball. That's the thing. If you don't affect him catching the ball, don't call pass interference. But then they end up that at Madden, they probably won't. Then we get three, but we have ball back. Play action again. We're running a lot of play action as of late. And it's working. Not that they're falling for it, but we we get to do what we like, which is rolling out and throwing the ball just like that. Take a big hit right there, but that's all right. The voiceover is about to come to an end, but uh, we're playing well, man. There's not, not much more you can actually try to outrun them there. Luckily, we didn't get hit. But yeah, if you did enjoy this voiceover portion of the episode, let me know, leave a like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm posting more videos. I'm saying the outro like I'm really leaving, like there's not, what, like 20 more minutes of this video. We need like 10 more, 15, 13 more minutes. I just said mad numbers. Yeah, but uh, this is going to do it for the, uh, the post-con. Peace. Can we get out there, fellas? And uh, Beltran. Beltran. Yeah, I said it right. I don't know. I said it twice. I said it wrong. He's hurt again. Let's go. Hello? All right. I'm about to say. Elbow bruise? Why does it say it like that? Is that a, whatever. Uh, we'll bring in bowls for a little bit. You'll come back in the game. Yeah, I got blown up on that one. You sure you didn't step out? I'm not going to challenge it, but I uh, mean, the people upstairs should. They're not going to challenge it. That's fine. Good tackle. Is that fourth down? It is. Yeah, I kind of have to go for it. They said, no, we don't. All right. <laughs> well, it's probably game over for y'all. Not that I'm going to waste what? 10 whole minutes running the ball.
I mean, you could, but it's like you really have to methodically do that. It all depends what this safety does. I, I pressed the wrong button. I'm actually glad I got sacked right there. Yeah, they just rushed in right there. Holy shit. All right. We're going to be forced to punt this ball back for the first time today. Where are you going? He tried to really spin me out. Like, bro, I'm right there. I should have went to him to begin with. Look, they, they, they see something they like. I don't know why I thought they launched that. I'm like, where are you launching it to? Third and one. Good for them. Converting. Keep converting, keep wasting time, please. There's not a fumble on that. Is this a joke? I mean, we're kind of dominating this offensive line today. They're just not really a match for us. Again, belts in his third sack of the game. Jesus. It just be these games sometimes where he just comes out and flat out dominates. That's why I thought he was going to be a fucking, like, a superstar X Factor. Because sometimes he just could outright dominate the game, take over. They got to go for this. Yep, they said, you're right, we do. I know I'm right. you want to do uh that's a little dumb i don't think that should happen right there i really don't yeah good we're we're, we're running the route for you at this point you take a shot and i agree take that shot but how it went about no i don't that was so dumb bro I'm literally in front of him. He has no position at all. Maybe I jump a little late. Maybe. His feet were. And I'm like, I might challenge that. But the fact that I don't even tip it. Yeah, I jumped a little late. A little. But here, right here, the, the ball is literally in my hand. I'm hitting the ball. So it should be bobbled in some sense. It should be like tipped up in some sense into the, 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 the weak side. There we go. Nice little run. He has no touchdowns on the game, which I'm perfectly fine with, but we're cool, bro. We're cool. Show this middle. Wish you would have fought a little bit more for that. But we're going to get this first down with you. Promise you that. Block this man in the middle. There we go. Big yards. 19 versus 75 yards. Like it. Damn, I should have put true clock on. Why was true clock not on? I feel like my voice is giving out a little bit. But I don't know. It just feels like that. Good way to break a tackle. Want to run again? 
just to waste some time. Good way to run them over. It's gonna be like on the one or on the inches. Definitely on the one. Should get this first down pretty easy as we usually do. Yeah, breaking a couple tackles. They're going for strips. Game is always well, been technically all right, but are we even first and going though? Still first and ten. Damn, but the fucking damn the yard line is like right there. We have to probably like sit down on it, but I don't know if we could do that. And it's gonna be two minute warning also. So pretty good way to just run the clock out, just run the ball, get your yards. Don't <laughs> I'd throw it away. I'd throw it away. That stops the clock though. As long as I just don't fumble, I'm cool. And I don't think that's even um Intentional grounding, because there was a receiver in the area. But whatever. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Now I got to call this. I didn't realize it was third down. Wow, are you serious? He didn't get to that? Um... Is it going to put it 34 to uh, 3? No, 10. 10, 10. And they have like less than two minutes, so... They haven't shown real capability to really go downfield and go get one without getting lucky. Don't get me wrong. The first... The three points that they got at the end of the first half, very fucking lucky because pass interference, really? Pass interference? That's like whatever. That that could happen. And then you get a, like a lucky jump ball after you have been fucking clamped the whole game. Come on, bro. Like, look, they can't go anywhere but short. And the only reason they're going short is because we're letting them. Go out of bounds. Go take your stuff. And look, you're on a third down now. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like, you're on a third down now. You can't go anywhere. There's no way you're running right here, though. What to say? Good yards. What you going to do? Hurry up. I like it. Bruh. Two people was covering that. Okay. He's about to get sacked again by who else but Belton. Almost said Beltron again. What the fuck was that, yo? I watched the other side. They played it perfectly. Yeah, not at all. I don't know what y'all was even trying to do. That's a nice one, y'all. Good job. It doesn't matter. And Belton is injured. Why, bro? Fuck. Game is fucking over now. So that is fucking great. Um, Their quarterback was fucking horrible today. He didn't throw it into it, but he should have a few times. But overall, he was not good at all. Crazy how he, he had a QBR of um 131. Damn near 139. Bar could be always great because we actually played great. Only missed six throws on the damn day. 70% completion percentage. 201 yards, three touchdowns, 14 of 20. His best game ever. And even Jaquan Smith had a good game. No touchdowns, but that's crazy. 
All right, <laughs> no touchdowns, but um, I just looked at the quarterback stats, the quarterback rushing stats. That's crazy. No touchdowns, but he did have 95 yards, almost five yards for a carry. That was very dominant. Um, I did see their D-line, and I was like, maybe we can't run it that well just because she's superstar. And then the right hands weren't as good, but they were still had a decent overall, I guess. Receivers, we don't care about theirs. We just care about ours. We hit a lot of people today, a lot of people. Jaquan Smith, Cody McPherson, John Hudges, Sidney Crosby, Cam Gibson, Julius Jackman, and Dan, Dan, Darius Tarpley. That's crazy. Tarpley didn't have a catch today. He was targeted, but he had a drop. That's tough. That's crazy. Tarpley is not number 11. Tarpley is number 5. Who's number 11 then? Sidney Crosby. Interesting. He had a touchdown along with uh, John Hudges and Cody McPherson. But on defense, we really shined. Marquise Belton, who probably is going to be out for a few weeks, had three tackles, lost in three sacks. And, uh, yeah, he really dominated the line. He's the only one that came away with sacks today, but we have a few people with tackles loss and Dante Griffin, Brian Merriweather, I almost said Brandon Merriweather, Thaddeus Benz, Belton, who just came back, and Cam Dunn. I'm not going to lie, I don't know who should be on the thumbnail. I'm probably going to choose Wes for like the 11th time this season, so yeah, I don't know. I took two stream shots. Either Wes or Belton, I believe, should get player of the weeks. And that's going to determine who's going to be a thumbnail, honestly. I think one of them should get it, honestly. They played fantastic. Six uh, staff points. Not really going to waste it on much. Don't really need to buy anything else on the staff. But, you know, I was talking about us winning and we shouldn't be able to win games or we shouldn't be looking to win games, but... We are. And we also have some new injury. Belton is who just had a fantastic week. It's going to miss the rest of the season with a dislocated knee. That is going to be tough. So we actually jump up to 27th opposed to like 30-something, I think we was. It was like 30th or maybe 29th. That is not going to look good for our pick, is it? We have to check what, uh, if our pick moved or not. It actually moved to third, opposed to like fourth, I think it was. And then New England's moved to ninth. Freaky stuff, bro. Freaky stuff. We win a game and we go up? Weird. So Wes did not move at all, which is kind of given. He shouldn't. I mean, he probably should, bro. I'm not saying we're better than Ray Baldwin, but that game, come on. No interceptions, no nothing. And Marquise Bolton is in the lead for right now, but, I mean, in these two games that's left, can Glenn – why can I not speak? It's like it's not coming out. Glenn Waddell. It's like I, the word, I want to say it, but it just wasn't coming out. I don't know. Do we win a weekly award? Did we? Did we? He did. That's going to be the thumbnail. Marquise Belton. Got to get that screenshot, too. Screenshot that right now. Cool. Um. Yeah, that is actually going to do it for us here in this episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. Hit that bell icon. So you never miss a video when I am posting a video. Watch one of these two videos on the screen. On the right is going to be the last episode. And on the left is either going to be a random episode or the playlist for this series. I keep forgetting to put this in the playlist and I am going to do that now. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Uh, Till next time. Peace.